You're watching All About Money on HKIBC. I'm Isabel Wong. Well, this episode, we'll be talking about Hashgraph. Like Bitcoin blockchain, Hashgraph is a distributed ledger that is said to be a faster and cheaper alternative to blockchain. Hashgraph-based networks are also said to be able to operate as marketplaces for massive amounts of data and keep track of millions of connected devices. Meanwhile, more than 20 credit unions in the U.S. are said to be planning to deploy the system by year-end. Here to tell us all about Hashgraph is Mark Chang, Helix Accelerator CEO. Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you for making time for us. But today, for the conversation to start um, going deeper, to make this conversation a little bit um, not just for insiders and experts, give us an idea of what Hashgraph is. How is it different from blockchain? Classical blockchain systems um, use a leader-based system to um, decide which block to add to the chain next. And they, how the leader is picked is a, they use a complex mathematical puzzle. And it's whoever, whoever solves that mathematical puzzle first becomes the leader, and they get to add um, the, the next block to the chain. Um, so the, the problem with this is that these mathematical puzzles is actually designed to slow the blockchain down. So there isn't as much forking and pruning on the blockchain. So that's where um, you know, scalability issues um, arise, as we've seen with you know, Ethereum and, and blockchain. Um, Hashgraph works in a different way. Um, there, are no, there are no leaders in, in Hashgraph. Um, each node. Um, independent, independently comes to consensus. Um, and how it works is, um, so the nodes see the transactions, and they send out the transactions randomly to the other nodes. And as long as um, two-thirds of the other nodes uh, agree that a certain transaction happened at a certain time, then that transaction is deemed to be, um, ha has come to consensus. Um, so there's no mathematical, complex mathematical puzzle that needs to be solved. There's no expensive um, mining equipment that's needed. So that means that um, actually the transaction costs um, for in Hashgraph is much lower than traditional blockchain. And um, because it, there's, there's no mathematical puzzle, actually um, the, the speed of Hashgraph theoretically should be the speed of the internet. Right. Um, so um, yeah. you just mentioned Hashgraph. Um, the, the idea we get from you is that Hashgraph is basically a faster um, alternative to blockchain that could manage um, um, lots of transactions in a matter of a um, very short period of time. Yes. And you just mentioned it's not as expensive when it comes to um, using the Hashgraph technology. So in terms of the cost, you just mentioned that it doesn't use as much electricity. So how much would be the cost that we're, we're looking at? So um, we're looking at fractions of a penny for the transaction costs, which means uh, pennies or even a tenth of a pen penny is practical in terms of the actual transaction size. Right. Yeah. But um, one of the things that attract investors to blockchain is that it's more secure. It's proven to be more secure, but that's exactly what slows down blockchain. So now that we're talking about Hashgraph as a faster and cheaper alternative to blockchain, but it hasn't quite proven itself on the security front yet. So how long do you foresee Hashgraph will be able to prove itself that it's secure and it's also faster? Um, so Hashgraph or Hedera. So Hashgraph is the name of the consensus algorithm, and Hedera is the name of the public chain. So Hedera is planning to launch in the summer of this year, but um, you know they've done a number of things to uh, increase the trust of you know the platform. Um, one is um, they have a governing council, um, and. This governing council is a council of 39 Fortune 500 companies. And five of them have already been uh, announced, um, I think, a few months ago. Um, they are Nomura, Swisscom, Deutsche Telekom, DLA Piper, and Magazine Luisa. So these are, you know, they're big names. Um, these companies have vetted uh, Hedera, and um, they're also building their own products on Hedera already. Um, another way that um, Hedera has tried to increase the trust 
is the fact that their, the Hashgraph consensus algorithm has math proofs that are foundational. Um, they've published these math proofs, and um, they've gone to lengths to prove that these math proofs are true. Um, for instance, they've hired a Carnegie Mellon professor who is a expert as, at a software program called COQ that mathematicians use to prove that their math proofs are uh, legitimate. legitimate. Um, uh, yeah. So. I know you are pretty much um, involved in Mind Fund's process in terms of investing as Hedera's firm. So, um, can you tell us, like, during the process, what made you and Mind Fund and other investors think that Hedera is going to have a future? Um, so, there's a there's two main things. One is the technology. So, um, like I said, you know, there's really no other public chain that's gone to the lengths that Hedera has to prove that their consensus, consensus algorithm actually works, that it is um, what they call asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerant. Um, the second is the team. So um, you know, we, we looked at uh, Mance, the CEO. And you know, Mance, he used to run the missile defense system for the US Department of Defense. Um, Lehman has a PhD from Carnegie Mellon. Um, he got his PhD in computer science within three years, which is still a um, record uh, for, for anyone getting a PhD uh, at Carnegie Mellon. And so, um, you know, we, we just thought the team is, they have the experience they, to build complicated systems, um, and the technology we, we felt was superior to other chains. Mm -hmm. Another question I would like to ask about the whole um, hash graph technology is that as much as it can retain um, transactional data, well, it typically doesn't contain as much transactional history as blockchain. So mm. do you find this an inconvenience uh, that the technology causes or yeah. it's not a problem at all? So uh, you've done your homework. Um, so other public chains like Ethereum, they automatically save all smart contracts and files um, to the system. Um, so I think right now um, there's around 2 million smart contracts on Ethereum, but only 50,000 of them are being used. So there's actually a lot of waste in the platform, in Ethereum's platform. Now with Hashgraph, they decided to take a different approach. Um, transactions are able to be stored um, it's just you have to pay for them. So if, if you have to pay for you know, transactional history, then only, only information that's valuable to developers will be stored in it. So the idea is that you know, Hedera's platform will be more efficient that way. Right, so how does, it, um, how does the system really decide what is worth saving and what's not worth saving? It's the developers that decide. Right. Right, so um, at the moment, I know um, that we have just talked about the, the idea of Hashgraph, this um, kind of a newer technology and alternative to blockchain. So in terms of application, can you give us some examples of um, what firms or what industries are already applying this type of technology? Yeah, I mean, I, I can only tell you from um, you know, the perspective of Helix and the products that are being built in it. Um, we have a fantastic company from Hong Kong called Genesis Net that is uh, applying uh, smart contracts to their insurance business. And what they're doing is they're taking um, the smart contract and uh, connecting, connecting it to a API oracle that will tell them if there is a flight delay or flight can cancellation. So typically nowadays, you know, that process of a human verifying whether a flight delay or flight cancellation has happened um, it requires you know, a few weeks to process that claim. But with this smart contract, um, it could be instant. Um, so that's one benefit. Yeah, another thing that I know, um, other than industries applying this technology, cryptocurrency could be another trend that um, can hash graft based cryptocurrency, I should say, could be the, the next upcoming trend. So what, what do you see the growth prospect of this hash graph based yeah. cryptocurrency is? Because there are words about Hedera um, launching their own hash graph based cryptocurrency right. as well. Like, can it become a real thing in 2019? Well, um, I don't want to uh, comment on price speculation, 
Um, Hedera will have their own native currency called HBAR, and uh, you know it will be live in the summer of this year. Um, but you know, for the for, for the projects within Helix, not all of them will have a cryptocurrency, and most of them, you know, it doesn't make sense to have their own cryptocurrency. Um, but some of them will, and you know, all I can say is, you know, we are very optimistic. Uh, about Hedera because we are seeing some fantastic products being built within Helix. And the most important thing of any public chain is that there's um, a lot of activity, a lot of developers building on that chain. And that's what we're seeing with Hedera right now. Yeah, and I know that you're currently running a 10-week program, yes. accelerated program for firms who are looking to apply Hashgraph technology, Hedera um, Hashgraph technology. So tell us quickly, what did you see from the program? Well, um, there, there's this one company in it that is, um, they're building a way to monetize links. And uh, we're really excited about it. And, you know, if, if you're a content creator and you create a video on YouTube, you can take that link and put it uh, in their website and a new link is created. Then you can share that link on social media, on Twitter, and whoever clicks on that link, a paywall will come up and um, you can use your Bitcoin Lightning wallet, your HBAR wallet, or whatever cryptocurrency you have. You, you make a payment and then the content is, uh, is shown. So it's peer-to-peer, -peer, it's quick, um, you don't need to download anything, you just need a wallet. So this is the first time that you know, I think you know, content creators can actually you know, monetize their, their content in a very easy way. They don't have to rely on PayPal or you know, YouTube or other platforms where you know, the payout is not that clear. Mm -hmm. Mark, thank you so much for your time today. That was yeah. Mark Chang, Helix Accelerator CEO. But still to come on the program, Hashgraph is said to be able to save the insurance industry billions of US dollars. We will be speaking to a Hong Kong-based startup to find out more. Do stay tuned.